New today, the family of a Brazoswood High School student brutally beaten at a party just filed a $50 million lawsuit against his attackers. ABC 13 digital producer Brittany Wilmer joins us live from our newsroom this morning with the latest details just released in some court documents. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Rita. Good morning. Yes, this is a very detailed lawsuit. I went through it this morning and in it, the family of 16 year old Cole Hagen, they want that more than $50 million in damages to pay for medical expenses and financially to make up for what he's already lost and could lose in the future. But they also talk about the pain and suffering that Cole and their family have endured. Now, at one point, the Brazoswood High School student was in the ICU on a ventilator, but according to an update from his older brother on Christmas, Cole has been released and is now under going extensive speech and physical therapy. Now we first told you about this story a month ago. Police were called out to a home in Lake Jackson about an unconscious teen bleeding from his ears. It turned out to be Cole who was beaten up allegedly over a girl. Several students are accused of luring Cole outside of the party before the attack. Three teens have been charged for aggravated assault, including 17 year old Reed Mitchell there on the left, who was accused of punching Cole in the face and slamming him into the concrete. The lawsuit not only names the teens, but also their parents, alleging that the families either knew or should have known about the assault plan. The lawsuit even accuses one parent of giving the kids alcohol. They left him in the road after they finished attacking him uh, and then text one of his friends that were in the backyard of this, this house to say, hey, come get your boy out of the street. They left him in the street. People who are supposed to be his friends. As he suffered two skull fractures and a broken clavicle, he played on his school's football team, but the lawsuit claims he may never play sports again. Now, it is a 16-page lawsuit. Again, like I said, a lot of details. I'm working to get that posted on abc13.com, so you can look for that very soon. Live in the newsroom, I'm Brittany Wilmore. Back to you.